Oh, it looks like your phone is buzzing. I'm doing the dishes right now. Do you mind uh, checking it for me? You, you want me to check your phone for you? Yeah, uh, the passcode is 2128. Who was it? Um, Babe, who texted me? It's Mark. He was asking if you were free this weekend to hang out. Uh, tell him I'm busy. Tell him I'm hanging out with you. Wait, what? There is just no way that loyalty can be an ick, cause without that you really don't have much of a relationship. Next we got a perspective of how modern dating is a bit messed up. The dating culture today is a crash course in divorce. Like I need people to take a moment to understand what the dating culture today has done. It has made it so easy for you to drop an entire soul that you once claimed to love, to cherish, and promise to stay with no matter what. Now in some cases, if there was an extreme reason or there is a clear reason that no separate absolutely i understand but this ability to just drop a soul like it means nothing he's a 10 but he uses an android phone what's his new rating Gosh. <laughs> that's horrible it's a three no i don't know how we communicate better with an android i feel like it's a downgrade not gonna lie maybe like a seven like if i'm going through a guy's phone and he's got a like do you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Just, it's not a red flag. If I'm just like using their phone, I, I'll get frustrated if I can't use it. That's a zero. iPhone all the way. Why are you having an Android? Like, go get your money up. Like, get out of the house. <laughs> like, come on. I used to be a Android user. I'm an iPhone user now. But honestly, the society now is so materialistic. Like, who the actual <laughs> cares? Uh, he, if he's a 10, he has an Android. He's a 10. Yeah. Period. The last one was pretty valid as the phone shouldn't really matter much. But if it does, it should be an easy red flag for you to spot. Now listen to this next one pretty closely because it's facts. If you can't be corrected, then you cannot be directed. And if you cannot be directed, then you can't be protected. Mm. She said it, I did. Alright. Nice. I'm not a maid either. Okay, go sell the shoes so I can get a better meal. We can go eat steak. We're doing 12-hour and you acting like this. Rose just gotta get out of that situation, cause she's supposed to be giving him support and not problems. Now Plenty will say that she knows too much in this next one. This is things guys do when they're sad. Number one, they'll avoid making eye contact with you at all costs. Number two, they'll lean into their hobbies way more. Number three, is sad boy hours. He could be absolutely fine in the day, but when it comes to nighttime, he's alone with his thoughts. What? What the f We're getting married in a week. Oh wow. Yeah. Congratulations. This morning, I had to meet with uh, our lawyers. Is everything okay? Yeah. I talked to him about a prenup. A prenup? A Just relax. It's <laughs> it is the week of our wedding, Eric. Yes, I know, but it's like... You're bringing this up now? Here? We need to go to a notary later today, so I need your signature. Why are you now. just now telling me about this? Because things have been so busy with everything, and like we're on a time crunch. I mean, my family has so much money at stake here. I'm not a gold digger, Eric. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm literally this, just saying this, this protection this is protection for both. No, it's not. Think about this. I'm going to go to the restroom. Are you kidding me? Right there. I'll be back. Need a hug? Yeah. <laughs> there are some that are concerned because he brought up the prenup a week before the wedding. Yet prenups can definitely benefit both parties. Next we got a bro who many will say was in an unfavorable position.
I'm sorry to break it to you, but you've lost your wow factor. I love the fact it says boy bestie. It helps me understand a bit more about this lad's background. There's a reason as to why he's not moved anymore, but we'll get onto that in a second. The fact that she did this trend with her boy bestie, it let me understand that she has already categorized him in her brain. Because she did this trend with him because she was expecting a reaction, but she didn't get one. In her mind, you know, he's the boy bestie that's always going to be there. You know, she's probably aware that at one point in time he did like her. He might have even expressed those feelings to her. So that's why she's conscious of it. At first to him, he may have just been happy to be there. But then after a while, you realize that, you know, the atmosphere you're in is becoming too common and you're realizing you can aspire a bit higher. You gotta love the concept of growing together. Plus the chances of her getting played go down if she's a great girlfriend. Next we got a bro who just simply had some standards. Judge somebody by what they do to make money. I just told you I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'm telling you, you my close minded, like and I don't you my sassy too, like uh uh. Okay. <laughs> I mean that's you, I, 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 you blocking I, your blessings. You never know. I'm blocking my blessings because yeah. I don't want a wife or that works in a club. No, no, no. Just by being so close minded. That's a how? Cause I said so. But there's Let nothing it resonate. wrong with that, though. Boss. There's nothing wrong with it, and you making a it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, it comes with thing. comes with. That's what y'all. Yeah, it, you you're calling funny, me. You, I, you're I, calling you me close minded, girl? but you're being very close minded okay. right now. Can I uh, date your friend? No, no. Wait, wait, why not? He's like not cute. Like I don't want yeah, that. For don't you. say that. Why else wanted that for you? Like what? Weirdo. I'm not what? Cute. You're not cute. Oh. Do you fucking think he's cute? I mean, sorry, like, it's your own choice, but, like, I actually, like, won't talk to you anymore if you oh say yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? When your friend is not really your friend, it appears. They also say that misery loves company. Now, this next one may be a bit tough on some of us. Have you ever stayed up late with someone knowing you were going to be tired in the morning, but it didn't matter because it was worth sleeping less to have a great time with that person? Bruh, chill. Are, are you busy right now? I mean, I'm in the middle of a game right now, but... Okay, good. So, basically, I've been talking to this guy for about a week, right? And it's all been over the phone. So, like, it's been good vibes. It's been good vibes, you know? Mm. Uh, But the first time he went to meet up, it was 1 a.m. What? Yup, on the first link. <laughs> no, you know what that trying to do. Exactly. Like, he think he's slick. So, right. he's sitting in the car to my trying some cars. Like, uh-uh. Like, I need a date. Exactly. I need a date. Like, you, you deserve way more than that. Mm -hmm. like, first time. Right? Like, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, who do you think I am? So, yeah, after we had the car sex, uh, that's when I had went into my house, right? And days went by. Days went by. He did not text or nothing. Like, he wasn't responding. So, I'm like, this is weird, right? Like, that's weird to not respond to my text. So, he tried to pull up a week later, right? right? And it was 2 a.m. this time. And this time, I'm like, uh-uh. I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. So after we had car sex this time, more days went by. More days went by and he wasn't texting me. You serious? Yikes. Now imagine if she was his crush, which does happen quite often. Now she was very well bothered in this next one. Stop the cap. Hopefully hope you enjoyed these ones today and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.